Hello everyone, so I just attended an early screening for a Smile. This is an hour that is just a little under two hours long and is directed by Parker Finn, as stars Sophie Bacon and Jesse T. Usher. And it is one of the newest horror films that are going to be coming out this Friday for, of course, the spooky season, which is right around the corner here. So yes, without further ado, let me get to my review for Smile. So after witnessing a very bizarre and traumatic accident involving one of her patients, Dr. Rose Cotter starts experiencing very frightening occurrences that she can't explain. And through this, she must confront her troubling past in order to survive and escape her horrifying new reality. So basically, she goes, she meets with a patient who starts describing to her that she is something's following her something is feeling like it's possessing her friend she's seeing things that no one else can see and how she sees these beings is by having them smile at her and tell her that she's going to die within a certain amount of days and it just keeps haunting her and messing up her reality um she witnessed something very horrible trauma where the same thing happened to her where someone committed suicide in front of her and now she is basically being possessed and commits suicide in front of our protagonist rose here um yeah and right before it happens you just see a very menacing person smiling at you and they kill themselves so it's very very terrifying and of course this affects her in a lot of ways and there's a few questions of what's really real, what's going on in her minds, what is, <laughs> again, just all these questions that the audience has about just really what's going on within the character's life here. I know I haven't put the warning yet, but if there is for me to kind of delve into this movie a little bit, I do got to get into some spoilers here, but I found that there was so many things in this movie that at points in time worked for me and at points in time did not work for me at all. And that's basically includes the humor that's in this movie, a lot of the scares, the CGI, the acting in this movie. So much of it worked again just at times, but really fell off to me at a lot of times. Especially too with the music, where sometimes I thought it was so cool and so unique, but other times I just found it was almost laughable and really distracting and funny and really off-putting in a lot of ways. Off-putting in a bad way, meaning it didn't fit in these situations, even when they play the opening title screen at a point in this movie. <laughs> it's it's uh, just something really, really weird, and again, too, just didn't make sense to me in a lot of ways. Again, some of the scares were really, really good, but I felt like the scariest one was shown in the trailer, so it didn't really have an effect on me when it was in the movie. But yeah, it was just... Uh, so much of it, again, worked in points, but really didn't work in points for me. Again, the humor really felt out of place for me a lot of the times and just didn't do anything to distract me. I found the characters, especially our main character, Rose, isn't a likable protagonist. What she does ruins a lot of people's lives. She lies to a lot of people. It's just a protagonist that I couldn't get behind or cheer for. I really care about what was going to happen to her because of how manipulative she was in a lot of the situations throughout this movie um yeah it was just really really tough to get into i found too that the rule about escaping this being was something that just really didn't make sense to me and i thought was just really really dumb and again from this rule i found that this had one of the most dissatisfying endings i've seen to a movie in a long long time but that's it just it was dumb it doesn't resolve or explain really anything that goes on within the movie it's yeah it was just really tough for me to find a lot to like about this movie again too like i said sometimes the music was brilliant sometimes the acting was brilliant sometimes the little social commentary about checking in on your friends and like kind of watching the way that you talk to people because you don't know what's going on in their life was something very very well done and again too some of the cinematography is really really well done and um the being that they show can sometimes be very very terrifying when they get into the origins of it i found it was a really cool lore behind it but something that needs to be explained and shown a lot more and again to the ending could have been something really really cool again passing on again spoilers here but passing on 
like the trauma potentially killing someone who when you're put in the situation where it's going to pass off onto the next person and have you commit suicide i thought that's where it was gonna go with killing someone but no that's not what it was at all and i thought it was going to involve her having to kill her sister who shared some of the similar trauma because she was really the only one who experienced any of that within the movie so again just really didn't get into a lot of things i found too the cop friend that she had was just shoehorned in there for again the ending to work in a sense which it really didn't for me there's so much that just kind of faltered this movie in well in the beginning the middle and the ending of this film something very tough to get into so i feel like with my score here it's a little more generous than i think it should be but i'm going to give smile a five out of ten i, I can't really recommend it too too much but it's one of those things where if you've seen movies like it follows or really any kind of horror movie within the last five years that has to do with possession or paranormal did it so much better than this film and i felt like this film was trying to replicate some of that same magic but never came across as as interesting because they didn't get into it a lot of the times or as scary because it kind of became predictable seeing what this movie was going to do none of it made sense to me none of it was scary to me i just found it was a very passable horror film so if you've seen smile please let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below if you like this review definitely give it a thumbs up and you can check out everything i do on this channel through a playlist down below and i'll look on the top here for convenience sake thank you for subscribing and turn that little ringer on so you know when i upload new videos if you want to check out the description of this video and my channel bio there's a link to the media mountain which is my discord where we talk about movies video games comic books tv pretty much everything that's awesome in this world so you can have to join that amazing community have Make it even more amazing than it is already, and see, yeah, just awesome, guys. Sky blue eyes, I see a world behind them. No more time, sinking into the side.